All right, let's mulligan the Might. I like even the other three cards. So Lucian Hecarim. So probably going to be having some Ephemerals in here. I like this Krusty Codger into Fortune Croaker start. That's Darius. Darius is just great, right? Like 10 power overwhelm, half of your life. So of course I don't want to deal damage to that because then the, the Fortune Croaker. Well, I could go Crimson Disciple now. Don't get in my way. Could go Crimson Disciple now. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I'll do that. Burn away the shadows. Planning on it, Misfortune next turn. Fortune favors the bold. You know, I could have gone Fortune Croaker into Jagan Butcher, but. Um, we'll go with Misfortune. Misfortune Croaker. Stand I don't know if, like, trading Misfortune for Lucian is a good trade. Is that all? I'm a little surprised by that trade by them. Could be another Lucian. Oh, missed call? Yeah. That makes sense. I'm, I'm glad I didn't attack with Misfortune. I'm glad we still have Misfortune alive. No room for doubt. All right, Legion Veterans turn. This empire. So do I want to keep Transfusion available or do I want to unload all three of these things? Let me show you I think I'll unload all three threats. Uh, my opponent killed me with basically one shot with, like, big Overwhelm Yeti and Darius and a ton of pump spells. Thought we lost the last game. I don't want to kill the hapless aristocrats that level up Lucian. Oh, right, never mind. Killing Hecarim levels up Lucian. But at least not killing the hapless aristocrat means they don't get to attack with Lucian. So that's good. They'll be able to get the attack token here. But I can't stop that. And of course, my plan is Citrus Courier. They have another Lucian. Oh, come on. Hapless Aristocrat. Okay, so I could play Krusty Codger first. It's the main thing. Do we want to play that first? I think so. Because they only have four mana now. I think I'll just go ahead and play that first. Bring in the heat. Why is this 1-1 one, one attacking? Next. I guess I can't go to one. I guess if I, if I would play the Citrus Curry, I wouldn't have to block, but I wouldn't have this other Krusty Codger anyway. No, they are they already rallied, or or because this is a different Lucian, they get to rally again. Yeah, I guess. Oh, because this is a different Lucian, they get to rally again. That's why the one one's attacking. Oh, 
Harvey. We have a Citrus Courier. Yeah, it's a good play, Harvey. I know. <laughs> yeah, super risky. Yeah, you gotta, gotta live on the edge sometimes. Oh, we're Bilgewater Noxus. We're a bunch of, like, pirates. And Noxus and stuff. We can, we can live a little risky. They're trying to figure out how not to lose, I guess. Alright, there we go. So they block the 5-3 in the middle. They block the 4-5 over here. Maybe they, they're going to block their single combat, take 8. Okay, block their single combat, take 8. GG's. 2 and 1. All right, we got uh, Vi Lux. Play some more Lux with PNZ. Haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna keep this Voices of the Old Ones. This seems like a good Voices of the Old Ones matchup. Probably play this on turn five. Get a double ramp in there. I must get out of here. 17. It looks like be an aggro deck. We are aggroing pretty hard. No, not the tough one. Nothing escapes my watch. <laughs> Didn't attack with it. I guess they don't want me to draw cards with Avaros and Sentry. Man, we are good at drawing Anivias. <laughs> Both of these games. Light the signal fires. We are good at drawing Anivia. Double ramp. Yeah, thankfully it, it doesn't show that the entreated Anivia is Anivia, but they just know, like if they could keep track of it, they'd know like which spot is a champion. If they would want to keep track. Maybe it's better just a Vengeance. Take down this 5-5 five five that's about to be beating me down. But they also have like Vi and Lux that are like cards that I'd much rather Vengeance. This 5 is definitely going to be beating me down. So double ramp. Next turn we have 8 mana. Yeah, I wish I could just Aristocrat right now also. I think I'm just taking... I think I want to just double ramp. Oh my gosh. Double ramp draw 2. How about that? The old double ramp draw two. We only have four cards in the entire deck that it can draw, which is another reason why I think that the third vengeance should be a ruination. Ooh, what's that noise? One girl wrecking crew. Here in your time. Alright, that's the Anivia they know about. Now, of course, I just want these Anivias to die because of harrowing. I don't want to attack though. And then let them kill the O1 on the way back. I'll let them, you know, like challenge the O1 or challenge this, make an O1. And if they use a spell to kill the O1, oh well. I have harrowings. Well, we can you know, do some blocking. Right out. Hot shit. Trouble coming at ya. You have no alibi. So I want to play vengeance this turn. Do I ven just Vengeance this Vanguard Cavalry? Oh, uh, I didn't think about Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit is really, really annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't really think about Unyielding Spirit. That could be... Uh, that could be a lot of... Yeah, that could be a lot of problems there. These old eyes still see far and clear. Could have gone Black Spear on the Vi and then had Vengeance afterwards. You doing kill my Anivia? It's not cool.
So one Anivia down so far. I guess... Yeah, yeah, maybe I should have done the, the uh, Black Spear, try to bait out un Unyielding and then have Vengeance. I guess I'm just going to let them Unyielding if they have Unyielding. Hopefully they don't have it. Darn. That's going to make life difficult. But we can probably race that. It's going to be our goal is racing uh, the Unyielding Spirit. You know, like if they, once they level up Vi, then they're doing five damage and attack, but I can, you know, kill my own things that they're blocking. And we have Harsh Winds also. So I think we're going to be doing just fine. One can move for every soul. Okay, that was the egghead researcher card. I don't need a plan. So I think we can just cast harsh winds right here. And then just have them you know take them a turn of Vi not leveling up. Oh, I don't know. I do want Anivia to die though. So you think that they would have another removal spell with this three mana to kill the egg? Stand in, you can't outrun justice! Ready the torches. So maybe I just let that happen. Oh, yeah! Time to reflect. No, I it's not better to defend with the navy because I want I want Avaros and Sentry and this thing. Spiderling. I want them off of the board for the you know, like harrowing. I I need I want them I want them gone. So my two options, so I could Black Spear this White Flame Protector and kill it. Otherwise, I could also I could also do it on the Spiderling, and I'm, I'm definitely considering just going Black Spear on the Spiderling. So let's see, right now we've had, because yeah, we've had two Anivias die, and we had Rekindler die. Rekindler puts back an Anivia, so I need four spots. So yeah, I need to kill this thing. All right, Harrowing. Let's see what we get. I do have to watch out for, like, like they could have a Judgment Kill that kills me. If they have Vi, so if Vi is attacking and they play Judgment and it just strikes down a bunch of things, each one of those would do five damage to my Nexus. So I have to worry about that. Defending, I don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, Vi is defending, but attacking. So we're, we're probably gonna be having like Harsh Winds on Vi and then like Entreat for another Harsh Winds. And, you know, use that a couple of times to slow down Vi, to keep Vi from dealing damage to me while attacking. And then just use this then on offense. So that's going to be our defensive turns, and our offensive turns are going to be harrowing, harrowing, and getting more Anivias. A wickedness breaches the horizon. So since they killed that other, you know, that other Anivia, now we get this Avaros and Sentry, which is... Still better than Spiderling. I don't know if like Lux can save them. Right now I should definitely have this of just like this kind of stuff. So I don't know if Lux could save them though. Maybe. Like that's not saving them. But of course they would want to play Lux after combat, obviously. With all these glacial storms. No, I I would do the same thing with the Black Spear. I would rather get like that Black Spear clear, you know, kill that Spiderling, and now I have this Avaros and Sentry in here instead so I get to draw another card. I don't I don't want that Spiderling. I think that Black Spear was a good play. I think the turn before I Black Speared, I didn't attack with the Spiderling and that was I should have just thrown the Spiderling out there and seen if they would have killed it. Yeah, I don't I don't care that they have one extra blocker here. Don't I don't care about that at all. We're not killing them this turn anyway. And and we are killing them the next turn. So the one Blocker doesn't matter. Alert the villains. I will be 
reborn. They would they would be able to stay alive if they wanted to this combat. Yeah, Anivia's animation's kind of slow. Having a bunch of Anivia's, um, that is kind of a slow animation because, yeah, four of those can take, like, each one takes like five seconds, so like four of those can take like twenty seconds. Which, um, oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Which, yeah, that is pretty slow. I guess I should have cast Entreat last turn. I would have had one less mana. I would have had 12. So I would not have Vengeance and Harsh Winds. But I would have had double Harsh Winds. Theoretically, if I did not have Harsh Winds, they could win this if they had, like, two of Concerted Strike, Judgment, and Single Combat. No, I guess not Judgment. So it had to be Single Combat and Concerted Strike. Because if they attack like this, and then they go Single Combat, Strike, one of these things and then like concerted strike, strike another, or another single combat, strike another. If they did that, then that'd be three strikes while attacking. And that would do 15 damage to me. But all we gotta do is frostbite. Hmm. They had one mana sharp sight. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty sweet. All right, well, I guess I gotta gain life. Yeah, that's why I should have been treated at last turn. All right, so I'm at three. But of course, entreating last turn, I would have had vengeance available, but I guess I should have. I... Okay, they conceded. So basically, what I'd have to worry about is, like, get excited. Right? Like, if I go right to attacks, so they could have get excited and kill me. So I think I'd have to play the, the, the Kindly Tavern Keeper before attackers. No, I guess a little less than half. Basically, yeah. Okay, this looks like a, a much more reasonable opening hand. Now, unfortunately, with this, we're playing against a Go Hard deck <clears throat> that I'm not sure the Teemo is a really good option against a Go Hard deck. I don't think we need the Scorched Earth. I like House Spider Chump Wump. I'll just keep the Teemo. Okay, cool. Testing them, see if they played something. Got a surprise for him. This will send them running. Got a surprise for him. I don't know. Do you have a surprise for him or or not? <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're playing Teemo, Katarina, and Masters. That's right. So our cards are basically only doing one damage, right? Like, their removal spells. I think all their removal spells just do one damage. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. So I want to play Chump Wump, but I also want to have Transfusion available. So we're in a little bit of a bind. There's nothing to fear. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just play the jump bump. This will send them running. You won't suffer long. Excuse you. Alright, so we're at eight. 
One more of those would make it 16. Their deck does draw a lot of cards. So giving them a bunch of puff caps when they draw a lot of cards could be pretty good. This fate's annoying. So that's 38 puff caps. Um, it's still going to be kind of difficult, you know, like we're dealing with all this stuff. But yeah, if they want to like draw all these cards with Twisted Fate, they're going to have to deal with drawing a bunch of cards with puff caps. Here. Well, I could Coling Strike. I think I just give them 16 more puff caps. I think we just go ahead and do that right away before they potentially play something else that draws cards. Get them up to 50. So now I know that we can culling strike the Twisted Fate. We don't really need to culling strike the spray pin. No, I can't see Harvey. There, there she is. She's like, but I want to scratch the carpet. And when I looked over, she looked at me with those big puppy dog eyes of like, what? I didn't do anything. Never. That's right. We're trying to counter Twisted Fate by going with the puff caps. <laughs> Just woke up. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so how many puff caps did they obliterate? Only two. Okay, good. So those three cards only had two puff caps. Um, let's attack here. Okay. I was thinking that maybe they'd be going Glimpse Beyond. Violence solves everything. Alright, no glimpse beyond, that's good. If I want to play Katarina and attack again, they could just take the four. Let's play this Grenadier as a blocker. Ah, they drew zero? Come on, zero? So I'm not sure which one I calling strike. I could see me calling striking the Spray Fin and keeping Twisted Fate alive. Because the thing about a live Twisted Fate is, one, they don't get to play new Twisted Fate, which, you know, like, playing new Twisted Fate's just, uh, really rough. Sure about that? Right, you know, like, the, the gold card, you know, like, just going red card, gold card, all that kind of stuff, that's, that's always really rough. Um, but then also, like, if they do level up Twisted Fate, that means that, like, every turn they get blue cards, so every turn they're drawing more puff caps. So it's honestly not that bad. Real question is, do I take two? I guess I take two. Try again. Let the blood begin. And so, like, if they do have another Twisted Fate in hand, all that other Twisted Fate's gonna be is, you know, like, the pick a card that's just gonna draw a lot more of these puff caps. Now, they, they of course, can just block. 
they are allowed to do that. But that's that's pretty unintuitive, and I don't really expect them to block. Hmm. So I could have Ravenous blocked one of these. I didn't really expect them to block with all of them, but I guess I, maybe I should have with me having all these puff caps. So I guess I should have Ravenous blocked before attacking. I don't really want to like Ravenous block, and then they play like some other like a pool shark or like some other like easy like better blocker. But. I got punished, I should have played the Ravenous Lock. These Doom Beasts are looking pretty good. Okay, there they go. They're gonna actually do the pick a card. So that's gonna be four cards they're drawing. Yeah, that was only. Those three cards only had four total puff caps. I guess you can win them all. Should have like six on average. Like, like they're, you know, like double. Okay, that one kind of made up for it. I've always been a fun guy. I was looking for like mystic shots. Oh my gosh, they're just drawing two more cards. They missed no puff caps? Come on. There's gotta be some puff caps right here. So I, I wanna I'm doing this before the blue card. There's a Mystic Sean. Draw four. Ugh! And the moss. No moss. I've got something special. Doing this to give them three more puff caps before our peddler dies. I'm a people person. They've twice drawn cards with zero puff caps with them having all these puff caps. Also drawn all three Doom Beasts. Alright, they gotta draw two puff caps. Two puff caps. Alright, three will probably do. Because if they if they play any card to stop this that card would give them blue card for Twisted Fate. So before that would happen, like even if they, if they play any card, they get the blue card. And uh, that blue card probably kills them. Okay, we'll see if we can do the same kind of thing again. Yeah, the Vengeance seems pretty good against like these kind of things, right? So I guess I just keep Vengeance and just kind of hang out. Um, yeah. So we just kind of hang out. <laughs> Draw some cards. Gameplay's not necessarily bad, but yeah, I don't really need it. Be nothing left when I'm done. So now they pass to me, thinking that I'm with their Catalyst of Aeons, thinking that I'm going to attack. Got a surprise, Mora. <laughs> the trolls are going to war. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all of you. Bow to your king! So what do I kill with Go Hard? Do I try to kill the Weirding Stones or the Trundle? I guess it's the Trundle. I kind of want to kill the Weirding Stones, though. 
You got legs. Use them. Okay. I'll trade I'll trade the dreadway for four life plus a frostbite card. It's a good trade. <laughs> the last play of last game you heard the old AOL. Goodbye. Alright, I guess I've ended that. Alright, found the Dreadway. Now we just gotta draw Ledros. Okay, that's another go hard. And another card draw. Or Twisted Fate. I can see playing the Pool Shark this turn. Yeah, it's true. Dreadway plus pack your bags does 10 damage to all their stuff. So that is pretty good. And yeah, so that's that's our main plan is just 10 damage to all their stuff with the Dreadway. And then the lead dress is back up. I like, I like Ledros's plan A. <laughs> We're gonna have Pack Your Bags as backup. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Hopefully something cheap. Okay, that's cheap. We can play that. This would be the third go hard. Gotta trust your instincts. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save go hard so that they, because it looks like they're gonna play a really in soul next turn. Looks like that's the plan. And so I need to have the go hard. Uh, to get rid of the spell shield and then vengeance. So I, I hope the Aurelian Soul challenges the Twisted Fate, but honestly it should be the Eclipse Dragon challenging Twisted Fate. Oh, they will shine. Well, I can't let them just continue to gain free uh, invoke cards every turn. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We got one mana left for pack your bags. So that's pretty awesome. It's gonna challenge the ice pillar, but you know, let's go. Let's go with this. Come on, no hush, no hush, no hush. Let this happen. So it'd be 10, 10 damage, kill everything. Let's go! Dreadway, pack your bags. <laughs> and now they're at nine. Give us some I don't wanna save the GGs yet. Okay, yeah, cause they have flash freeze. Almost got him. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Yeah, so now the box the box does six, because you know, it does double, so it usually does three. So now both these are doing six. We can play the Gangplank first to get a powder, uh, powder keg, and then these do eight. All right, so they got a Living Legends. That's what they got with the Aurelian Soul. No. I rarely forget and never forget. Time to earn 
your pay. But just for us, you know, like they played they played a really soul. And um Okay. You know, really in soul, infinite mind splitter, all this crazy stuff. Looks like we still got him. There we go, GG's, two and O. Oh. Drink up. The taverns will sing our tale this eve. <laughs> and you don't think anybody else ever will. We may be the only person ever. Okay, so we're going to be playing against Fearsome. And that's sad. <laughs> My three mana one, two, probably not good against Fearsome. But we're going to try. Leona's good against Fearsome. So let your shield bear good against Fearsome. Mountain Goat's good. Cool. We get some gems. We can buff up this Stellacorn. Some gems. So Vi, ooh, okay, now we talking. Punish transgressions. So basically, I have this large soldier being a three-two. I'm gonna play Leona on their turn to stun something on their turn, but I guess I'm, I'm just gonna be stunning this Wraith Caller. Great Mystic Shot draw. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. I have something that does one damage to kill my Leona. Like, I want to have as many things in play for, like, whenever we give it all later, right? So, like, I I don't want things to die on my side. I don't really want to trade my Solari Soldier for Mist Wraith right now. Two out of four for Leona. Bless the faithful and That's three out of four. No place for the kind. Vi stands for vicious. Keep by having two health. It's not much health. Come on, play something pre combat. Come on, play something pre combat. Yes. Oh no. Well, that's still fine. Give it all! 
Let's go. Let's turn them all into 9-4. Nine, 9-4. Four. Nine, four. Uh, I guess we got Lifesteal, Spell Shield, Challenger, Tough. <laughs> you go, Fledging Stellicorn. The thing is, Mr. Eighth is still ridiculous, and so... Okay, so we will block no mercy for heretics. this one. We go to 11. I guess the Traveler... Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I am the bulwark against Level up this Leona. Follow the horizon. I tried being eat this. Level up. Vi. Coming to save the day. What a wrecking. Or wreck it. Is everyone okay? Spectral matron Ledros? We got spe Spectral Matron Ledros up in here. I've become who I was always meant to be. These travelers, they are, you know, they can block the fearsome. Ooh, that's a good pill cascade. Is this what you see? I don't draw a card with the pill cascade if I cast it right now, but then Solari Priestess trades over here. I think that's still, I think that's worth it. I know I, know I don't get to draw a card, but. That's probably worth it. Well, no, because then that turn that gets rid of my sunburst from being able to kill this Ledros. Also, open your eyes. The guilty would bend. Oh yeah, no, we don't need to yet. Yeah, because we need that silence. So they have two Ledroses in hand. Because of the, the matrons. They have they have two of these. Hey TK. Alright, so that's the first one gone. Messenger? Let's just go Messenger. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. Cool. Robin's great. Robin sets up like a, a turn of us playing a whole bunch of Daybreak stuff in, in one turn. Wow, that's pretty nice. Each journey is a discovery. Hit him where it hurts. Freeze! Witness glory! My spirit shines. Is this what you seek? Alright, get back to 20. Because, yeah, you know, like, basically, like, Ledros plus Atrocity, like, that kind of stuff. You know, gotta... Keep this life total high. Cool.
These things are fearsome. Daylight everlasting. Sunlight light. Okay, so those are all ephemeral. So we're going to take nine, block here, heal again, and then take six, or I just throw this thing away. I probably just throw that thing away. Yeah, let's just say a 20. Robin. Our sun will not set today. And planning on just open attacking at this point. We're going to have Fledging Stellacorn kill them. And then these other things, if Fledging Stellacorn doesn't work. All right, go get him, Fledging Stellacorn. You can do it. Second Fledging Stellacorn lethal. Come on, second Fledging Stellacorn lethal. They can have like the burst speed mist rates and, and do some blocking. Remember, so the Vi is gonna do five damage also. All I need is one of these four to hit. And I have a, a Bastion for protection. There we go, Fledging Stellicorn Lethal! Let's go! Also, don't kill my dragon. That's not cool. Go get him, Fledging Stellicorn. You need more power. Fourteen two, Stellicorn. Oh, I can't believe we did it. Well, we've done it twice. <laughs>